I, and I, it occurs to me that we have talked about, or there's been a vision of having that DMZ actually be a peace park and what a lovely thing it would be to have it right on that space. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Not the peace park and the, it, it will be eco park. Mm. But since 1945, here's 2018, how many years? 45, 83 years there was no human touch. Mm. There's no spot in the world. There's no human touch for 83 years. So the biodiversity is pre preserved in this DMZ area. So it will be very precious for human being to study this one, to preserve it as it is. So Echo Park and the Peace uh, Park and the hum World, the human World the Heritage Site by UNESCO, by UNEP, and all those uh, international bodies can declare it and uh, make it simple that it is possible to transform from military confrontation into peaceful coexistence with a loving kindness and then uh, embracing each other as, uh, as our family. We are all one human family. <laughs> Yes. Yes. When there is war anywhere, there is war for all of us. When there is peace anywhere, there is peace opportunities for all of us. Exactly. exactly. What is happening in the world, the other side? Don't think that that's not my problem. That's their, you know, their problem. In our world, psychologically, when we are watching and seeing these horrible things, it's planting in your psyche. So you know, there's a nothing in the world is, a, is a not our problem. As you said, Jenna, we are somewhat responsible to, to engage, to participate, to find a solution and to, to heal the process of uh, loving relations instead of conflict relations. So I have a lot of, a lot of plans and then programs already in my brain, in my head. I, uh, when I write it down, it was a 40, 40 programs. So I, I'm not going to throw everything now, but one by one, we will go through it. One other thing I want to engage with the children is a drawing about the peace process. The theme will be a peace drawing contest. North Korean kids and South Korean kids, they draw, and then we have an exhibition in VMG mm -hmm. or at the UN, <laughs> sharing with the uh, whole world uh, at the UN. And another problem is I, I want to really invite uh, uh, the photographer, uh, who captured a very beautiful uh, reunion part of uh, Pyeongchang when Winter Olympic. So not only our site, we, we uh, ex ex have an exhibition of these photos, but at the UN, you know, this, uh, this Olympic was, was the beginning of uh, engaging and meeting when you are meeting together, there is a way to find a solution. If you don't meet, there is, a, there is a no chance. But the meeting was the beginning. So, you know, th th that, that so again, is, is a very, very important uh, to remember that it is possible to transform very dramatically, you know beginning uh, this Olympic, uh, Winter Olympic in Korea. So we will be exciting uh, to see all these beautiful photos and uh, another program uh, I really want to do before it's too late is that I want to invite all those uh, Korean war veterans coming from 21 countries in the world 
uh, to Korean land and uh, save us mm -hmm. from uh, scorch of war. And I want to honor them. I want to personally want to thank them. I want to at least provide the uh, Korean delicious food uh, we want to eat together and, and create some program. Uh, thank them. And I want to hear their personal stories and what they've been done and what they've watched when they engage Korean War. And, they, and now, you know, they must have something to say to us. So I want to hear their comments, their suggestions and recommendations. So many, many exciting programs are waiting for us. So we will sing and dance together. <laughs> In this building peacemaking and peacekeeping uh, process. In this day, certainly of singing and dancing together, especially. Yes, it's a good month. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> well, thank you for that. Some sharing some of those visions and some of those ideas that we can help to make manifest and um, get the support that we need, which already exists, so that those can happen and come to fruition. So, thank you. Right, right. We want to mobilize a more of a women's movement, women, women's peace movement. Women need to play a large of important role in this new civilization. Women soft, women have a capacity to bring life on earth, nourishing life on earth. And if we are gathering together to nourish this peace process, I think it, it, it has tremendous power. And uh, youth again, we have to train our future generation. So new leadership training allow them to experience all those different things they are already using too much of technology. We, we want them one day getting off, you know, to turn off the, their iPhone and then be with the nature or engage with the peace process or making some even poster on peace, peace uh, process or, or something like that. So we need to educate our next generation to be spiritually oriented, to have this ethical and moral sense, not just a selfish demanding me, 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 me song all the time, but take care of each other and take care of us and other species and loving kindness with a kind of an inborn wisdom and have this inner peace and joy. Uh, we, have to, we have to raise this uh, future leaders in proper way so they can they can keep and continue our legacy yes. so all those programs then and then we will find our partners and donors to sing and dance with us <laughs> <laughs> yes yes <laughs>